So I'm wondering, can I use bacon fat as a wax resist? I have a hot pan of bacon grease right here. And you can see I have a mug with a really small foot. And I'm going to go ahead and just dip it. And it looks like, oh, I missed a little spot. Nice little pieces of bacon. That's good. All right, I'm going to let this cool and dry, and then we're going to dunk it in some glaze. First thing I want to do is, this is the one that I dipped in the bacon grease on the stove, and I've let it sit around for a couple days now. And so let's just see, how does that release? Oh, interesting. Now, obviously some of that's air bubble, but you can see it's kind of actually worked better than I expected. At least it sponges off. Interesting. That really worked better than expected. I fully expected this to not work. Okay, next up, let's go ahead and just do the wax one so we can see with this glaze, at this thickness, Oh, this is a really good example. You can see that certain glazes, even with a wax, does not just just roll right off. Certain glazes do and certain don't. That's interesting. That acted like the bacon grease. Kind of want to do this test again with another glaze. Okay, so let's put a little butter on the bottom of this. I'm just going to use a little piece of paper towel. Okay, and I don't think I need to let it dry, so I think I'm going to remix that glaze real quick, and we'll dunk it in. <laughs> nope. I don't know, it seems kind of gross. Alright, I'm giving up on the butter. Um, after sponging it off, it just is a little gooey. I just didn't like the idea of getting it in the sponge. So I'm going to put some wax on this one, and I'm going to put some bacon grease on that one. I'm going to get a second glaze out. We're going to get a floating blue. Oh, it's really thick. And we're going to do just a quick side-by-side -side comparison to see how a different glaze breaks on wax compared to bacon grease. Okay, let's see if this makes any difference. We have the traditional wax. And this is floating blue, like I said. Ooh, look at that. See, now that is what I expect. I mean, maybe I got a little spo sponging there, obviously, but that is what I expect. Now, let's try the bacon. Ooh. Look at that, pretty good. I'd say that's as good as the wax. Need a smaller sponge. Well, that wasn't too bad. There you go. Well, let's go ahead and try butter anyways. Just kind of last minute, I have this cup here. I didn't really like it, but maybe I put it on too thick. So I'm just gonna have really small. There we go, just quick smudges with some butter. Oh, interesting. Weird. Kind of worked. At least it's really thin. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if I could use butter on top of a tile and blow glaze on it. That's intriguing. So, there you go.